and there is my fancy new throttle body in place um, I had to do some modifications to the uh, the way I adjust my throttle cable because this one is a little bit thicker through the body and it pulled my throttle cable I don't know probably quarter to a half inch further out so I couldn't adjust enough slack in it still got my zip tie on here because I don't have my pigtail yet because the uh, where the metal band goes on this to lock it in place broke off so I don't want my plug getting loose but I'm still working on the leak over here and what I had found out as I was taking the bolts out is let me see if I get focus this hole right here was stripped out so that's one of the beauty the joyful things of working on these cars that are old you know over 20 something years old uh bolt strip out and you know as you can imagine that just you're in certain places and it can uh wreak some havoc so uh i have drilled this out and tapped it to put in a helicoil for a metric eight um getting ready to install that thankfully i was able to move the supercharger out of the way enough that i could get that hole drilled and tap to put this helicoil in there once I do that, then I'll put my uh, new gaskets and my spacer back in there and get this intake back down and button her up and do a uh, pressure check. So that's what's next. All right, guys, so I finally got it all put back together. Uh, did my uh, pressure test. I didn't have any leaks through the manifold. Uh, intercooler piping was all checking out good. I only tested it up to about 5 PSI. The only unfortunate thing with a supercharger trying, trying to pressure test it from this end is the uh, seals. The seals uh, that go up inside of here on the front side of the rotors. They're really a uh, like a one-way seal to keep oil from going this way. But if you build pressure on the back side, they let air through and i was uh this thing here has like a little vent cap because it's a hollow shaft and you leak a little bit of air out of here so you can't do a full pressurized test where it holds pressure because it's pushing air into the snout of the supercharger so i could get about five psi on it but it was enough to go through and check and i had zero bubbles anywhere so i think i'm good if i'm not good um then I'm just gonna have this thing tuned with a small air leak because you know at this point I, I can't find any leaks if there is one then it's just gonna be what it's gonna be at this point uh, I'll be able to tune around it um, as long as the, anything doesn't get worse so uh, I was a little little disappointed um, so I told you guys earlier I bought this where I could put the idle air control valve in it and initially that's what I was gonna do but the problem is is I ran my fuel return line uh, right down here in front of the throttle body so I can't get this thing with the IAC to fit down in there without redoing my fuel lines and so at this point you know I was running it without the IAC you know I'll see how it does with a little bit bigger throttle body um, you know, I may or may not have to. We'll just see. But right now, I'm uh, setting my TPS sensor. And, yeah, I just I know it looks janky with that zip tie on there. It bugs me, too. But uh, one of the interesting things is, so here I got my Evo scan in here. And I got the top line highlighted, which is my throttle position sensor. It closed. It's at 20%. So what I had done is I tried to get this thing as close to 100% wide open. Uh, you know, and it's 98.8%. If I tweak the TPS just a little bit more, then the number falls off. So I got it to hold pretty solid at 98.8, but when I close it all the way down, uh, it's at about 20%. So I don't know if that's going to cause me any issues or not, but that's how we're going to run it for now. At least I know on my data logger. When I'm wide open throttle, it's 98.8 and not oh, clicked over a little bit, 99. It's not going to hit a full 100%, but I'll know I'm wide open throttle. 
So now that I got that um, that done, now it's just a matter of uh, starting the car up, seeing how she does. Well, here we are, guys. Uh, out here doing a little drive, going to do a little data logging. Uh, for the most part, even with the bigger throttle body, I'm still holding a thousand ish RPM, which is about where this car likes to idle at. Give it a little rev here. If I see if I let off slow, it'll dip a little bit, but then it'll come back. Um, probably just something I'm gonna have to live with, but we're out here on a country road, so figured why not come out here and hammer down on it and see what happens. sounded like because I got my windows down I'm gonna turn around turn this video back on roll my windows up and see what it sounds like that way all right so I got her turned around I got my windows up to wide open third gear so uh, when I get back I'm gonna check my data logger see if I had any knock or uh, you know see what my airflow increase is going from the stock throttle body to the 70 millimeter so I will report back and then we'll call this project done for now So if you look here, um, after I got done driving the car and doing some wide open uh, pulls in third gear, the left column in the green is the uh, two byte airflow. The blue is before the throttle body. So, you know, looking at the boost gauge, um, you know, I'm not seeing really any more boost pressure you know, it's still, you know, three to four PSI of boost, but you can see the drastic increase in airflow. Uh, you know, where previously I'd maxed out at about uh, 1,302 hertz. Now I'm at uh, 18 or 1,840. Uh, so overall, you know, I'm averaging a little over, you know, three, 400 hertz more in airflow. Uh, just by doing that throttle body change so so basically next steps now is to finish tuning the car I had to do some uh, uh, more tweaking on my fuel trims and you know trying to get those down lower um, but once I get that done uh, you know I got a guy lined up that's going to do some email tuning for me and then uh, once that's complete, then uh, off to the dyno we go. See how much horsepower she made from before and after. So thank you everybody for uh, you know joining me on this journey. Uh, if there's any videos you'd like to see in the future, drop a comment below. Uh, I'll make something uh, special just for you. Uh, and as always, uh, like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Talk to you guys later.